Welcome to ArtCam. In this series of videos, we're going to get you started in using the software. When you open up ArtCam, you'll be greeted with this welcome screen. And it's got a series of six videos. If you take a look on the left hand side, we've got the welcome home page. We've also got recent models. So any models that you've been working on, you can just quickly open them. Also got the options page. So you can just click on these, turn them on and off. And we've also got help. This will take you to various links. We have the Autodesk ArtCam knowledge base, tutorials on YouTube, the forum, documentation, and what's new within the software. So there's a lot of help available here. Also down in the bottom left hand corner, we have links to sites such as Facebook, YouTube, Instructables, just so you can get even more help within the software. Now, if you want to go back to the original page, just go to welcome and it will take you back to the series of videos. And you also have an option at the top to create a new model or open a model. So what I'm going to do is create a new model. So as soon as I select that, I will get a new model dialog box pop up and it asks me what the width and the height of my model that I want to create. So let's just say that I want to create this in inches and I want this to be, let's say six inches by six inches. We also have a resolution slider bar underneath that. Now for the free version of ArtCam, this is not really that's important because you can't create any 3D relief work. The only thing that this is going to affect is the simulation, so what you're actually cutting. But it won't machine like that, it's just a simulation. The higher the resolution, obviously the better. It's much like a television screen. The higher the resolution, the more detail that you'll see. But also, it's more intensive on your computer. If you take a look on the right, we've got this white square. This basically tells you where your origin or your datum point is going to be. Okay, so this is where your zero zero for your machine will be. Now if you want to change that, just click any of the four corners like so, or you can have it set to the center. So the first thing that we'll look at is down the left hand side. You can see that we've got some icons down the left. These are all vector creation or vector editing tools. Now, when I talk about vectors, I mean lines, circles, arcs. So above that, at the top, we have some more vector editing tools like the bitmap to vector that allows you to trace around an image. Vector doctor allows you to either heal vectors or select various vectors. We also have one of the flow tools, which allows you to basically copy an object around a line. And then moving on to the right, we also have a couple of toolpath options. Now, if you take a look down the bottom left of the screen, you'll see lots of colors. Those are the color palette. Okay, so you can actually select one of these colors and start painting in that color. These will change when you open an image. It will have the images color palette. And you'll see that in a later video. If you take a look on the right hand side, we have the view toolbar. And you'll also notice that underneath the first icon, we have a little arrow on the right hand side. This means that it's a fly out menu. So if you want to access this, if you hover over it, press the left mouse button down and it will fly open and you can see all of the different options. So these are all the different view options. So if you want to view an isometric view, let's say like so, you select there. If you take a look under the model and model information, this will tell you the size of your actual model and it will also tell you the resolution of the model. The drop down menus at the top basically give you every command that's available within the free version of ArtCam. 
So if you can't find something that you're looking for, it will be available within one of these drop down menus. We also have toolpaths. So if you want to create toolpaths, if you select toolpaths from the project tree, it will open up a new section underneath the splitter bar and you've got toolpath operations, you've got the 2D toolpaths and also the simulation. Now you'll notice that currently I'm in the 3D view. To switch between the 3D and the 2D, just select the tabs and you'll notice that the view toolbar will have various options grayed out because it's not applicable to the 2D view. Now, if I want to move around with this, I can pan by selecting both of the mouse buttons together, the left and right. I can zoom in by using the scroller. On the 3D view, I can do exactly the same thing. I can also rotate around by selecting the middle mouse button. And obviously that's only available within the 3D view. Now, if you happen to close any of the toolbars or move anything, it's not a problem. You can always get them back. So I'll just show you how to do that. So if I select, let's say, the design toolbar, and I happen to close that, let's say that I happen to close the project tree, so it looks like this, but I want my toolbars back, it's really easy to get them back. Just select Window, and then reset the layout.